Hey, what's up guys? John here. The CEO of Salesforce has just been discovered as the buyer of over 600 acres in Florida, 38 parcels, over $100 million worth of value. Think about how big of a deal that is. Think about how big of a purchase that is. You have to ask yourself, what are the odds? Mark Zuckerberg was discovered as being someone building out a state-of-the-art bunker. The Facebook founder is creating a compound which also features a doomsday bunker. Some argue it's upwards of $270 million, including the compound, the land, everything collectively, well over $200 million. Some say it's over $400 million, right? But you look at what they're both doing. Then you look at Sam Altman. He just bought a massive parcel in Big Sur, California, where he could land his jet in the event things go down. You have Peter Thiel building out a massive spread in New Zealand. You have all of these tech billionaires, these executives, these really wealthy and powerful people, all doing the same thing at the same time. What are the odds? I mean, they're even going as far as buying old cars before 1986 in the event of an EMP, buying old airplanes, they don't have the avionics, so they can fly in the event of an EMP attack. Right? What are the odds of all this happening? Let's say it's only 1%, 2%, that's extremely high. Right? That's extremely high. And given the fact that we have a lot of conflict that's happening overseas, you're seeing all these different situations that are unfolding. It seems like every week another breaking story is happening. We might see something really big over the next 18 months. In this video, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you what they're doing and you know what you can do uh, to prepare in your own way. Please hit the like button and hit the like button. You will share this content to educate other people about what's going on in the U.S. economy. And today's video is sponsored by Genesis Gold Group. If you're interested in converting your 401k or IRA into a retirement account backed by precious metals or learning more about investing in gold and silver, you can call 1-800-200-GOLD or click the link in the description just below this video. More information on that in just a little bit. Take a look at this. So 600 acres across 38 parcels of land in and around Hawaii. NPR revealed on Wednesday that the buyer behind the land purchases was Benioff, who amassed a $10.5 billion fortune, according to Forbes, as the co-founder and chief of San Francisco-based Salesforce, one of the world's largest software companies that owns popular business messaging app Slack. Benioff has reported, reportedly made these purchases through at least six LLCs, all with the same mailing address in San Fran to a nonprofit, and one's a nonprofit. Though none of the documentation has Benioff's name on it, NPR, says he does not dispute he owns the acreage, about 25 of which are beach resorts. Unreal. And they're also doing this. They're buying islands and building secret bunkers. But why? This came out yesterday. So numerous billionaires, including Bill Gates, Zuckerberg, Oprah, Branson, Page, have bought large chunks of land on islands. What's even more surprising is that many such properties have underground tunnels leading to bunkers-like structures. For instance, Zuckerberg is building a $100 million bunker beneath his under construction. And they're saying, they're saying that it's uh, estimating it at $400 million after construction costs. $400 million. In, a, in an interview, LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman also revealed that nearly half of his billionaire friends from Silicon Valley have either some sort of hideaway or are working on one. Half. But why are the ultra-rich buying islands, buying bunkers? Don't they have, don't they already live in some of the world's most posh and protected homes? Some conspiracy theorists suggest that there's something that these billionaires know, something bad that could happen in 2024. Now, am I saying that something bad's gonna happen in 2024? No, but I am saying that if you look at the state of the world, the state of the world has never been you know, where we're at, at least over the last several decades. And the amount of money and power that they've accumulated over the last couple of years is unmatched. A lot of them have sold stock at the top of the market. They're sitting on billions and billions and billions of dry, in dry powder. They're looking at where the world's going. It's the 99%, the middle class getting completely eroded. And you're basically having you know, a class of, you know, they call it, the words in which they use are peasants. And then they have the top, you know, the have yachts and then the have nots. Right? If things really do go down and basically the 99% can barely afford to feed themselves, who are they going to be going after? Who are they going to be targeting? Possibly the top 1% or the top 001%, right? So, I mean, there's a reason for this. And when you just look at, you know, the, the search volume on Google Trends for the word EMP, you know, this is starting in March. You know, March is only four days in. But you see it's like, you know, it's parabolic. It's a parabolic uh, chart for EMP, for people searching for, you know, EMP and, you know, talking about all these different things. So you look at this. And then you see 
what they're saying here. So, how are things going with the world's very normal wealthy elite? Well, they're perhaps more obsessed than ever with building invariably absurd doomsday shelters that come tricked out with every conceivable gizmo you would need to survive the apocalypse, or to at least keep out any rebellious peasants. Given the kind of money involved, the people building these shelters aren't your ordinary doomsday preppers. They're commissioned by guys like billionaire and Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg, who reportedly is building a $100 million underground island bunker of his own. And he may just be one billionaire to make the headline for his apocalypse planning, but take it from the guys that build these things, he's not alone and the business is booming. And this is coming from uh, someone from Atlas Survival Shelters. I actually had them on the podcast a couple weeks ago um, where they sell you know bunkers, you know, two to four hundred K range. But it's, you know, they're building them for like the top, top, top elite. And you see all of these, you know, elite doing this now, right? It's it's really, really shocking. And same time, you have a uh, Bill <laughs> Billy G buying $113 million spread, another spread in Nebraska about six weeks ago, five, six weeks ago. Altman, December 2nd, you know, a couple months ago, talking about the uh, apocalypse. And what he said here is that adding, but I have this, I have gold, potassium iodine, uh, antibiotics, batteries, water, gas masks from Israel Defense Force, and a big patch of land, the big sir, that I can fly to. Potassium iodide may seem like a less obvious choice to keep with you in case of emergency. However, the substance is said to be able to protect people from, you know, this situation, right? And it's only said to help people to a point where preppers are known to stock up on this online. So you think about this. When they're buying gold, they're buying land, they're doing this. I mean, I personally think that, uh, that this is something that could possibly happen. And I think that this year, coming up at the end of this year, things could get pretty bumpy here in America. And like, look at this. So you're reading all these stories of these millionaires buying gold, building bunkers, and you're like, what the heck is going on? And it's a trend that everyone is doing. Rose explained that the reason for the surge in gold purchases due to the concerns of the devaluation of the dollar and the overall economic collapse. I would also add that you know banks are looking extremely unstable. You have the BTFP program getting pulled, which is the bank term funding program, which helps regional banks remain solvent. It's getting pulled on the 11th, right? So you're starting to see a lot of people questioning the entire system. They're questioning banks, questioning the dollar, questioning you know, safety, they're questioning everything. That was never a conversation at the same, you know, at the same level ever in the past, right? They're questioning everything now and people are getting more, I think, cautious. I think these people are realizing that, hey, we don't have a crystal ball per se, but we have a roadmap and they are looking at the problems and the economy is having right now, whether they're looking at the dollar devaluation or these things called brick nations, which are countries banding together to create their own currency backed by gold. So, I mean, what do you think about this entire situation? You see them doing what they're doing, like they're voting with their dollars. They're buying land, they're buying bunkers. They're even talking about buying old planes. So for example, a lot of these guys are buying up King Air or older planes that don't have the electronic avi avionics and keeping one or two older cars built before 1986 in their collection so they'll still function in the event of this EMP. The newness is shifting from idea of this kaboom to protection against local threats. The real threat is the power grid, which is ironically the plot of leave the world behind. In situations like this, sustaining your life is more important as food and water. Now, speaking of that, you have Mark Zuckerberg. He is building a high quality, high quality cattle ranch. And he says it's going to be the, basically the best meat that money can buy, the best meat in the world. I mean, here he's going as far as feeding these cows 10 to five to 10,000 pounds of food each year, about mainly macadamia trees. And his daughter's helping plant these. I mean, it's, it's, look at this. So starting raising cattle at his ranch, my goal is to create some of the highest quality beef in the world only the best, then for the world's sixth richest man who is farming Wagyu and Angus cattle, which yields some of the world's most expensive meat. So you have Zuckerberg doing what he's doing, taking basically his own life into his own hands. You know, he's training MMA, he's doing this with uh, meat, with cattle, with farming, survival shelters. He's doing all of these things that you would have never expected someone like, you know, some tech CEO to be undertaking all these projects now he's doing it all, right? Why? What do you think about this entire situation? Do you think 
that maybe there is something that's going to happen over the next 12 to 18 or 24 months? Or do you think that they're looking at the state of the world and they're saying, you know what, you know, in the event that the 99% get into a really, really, really dark situation, they're not going to come target us. And in the event that they did, you know, we would have our own options and we wouldn't really be, uh, you know, a victim to that situation. Do you think that's the reason or do you think that they're maybe anticipating, you know, maybe a, a situation overseas, maybe an EMP, maybe some type of power grid situation that could uh, really impact everybody and they're putting themselves in a um, place and a situation to where they'd be able to navigate that without, you know, real losses. Drop below, let's have a conversation about this. And if you are interested in learning more about you know, investing in gold. If you look at what gold generally does during like difficult times, like in the 1970s, performed extremely well. You look in 2007, 2008, performed extremely well. And we're in a situation which I would argue is probably more volatile than you know any times you know inside of this chart. So I personally think that gold will probably hold up better over the you know next several years than the U.S. dollar by landslide. So if you have a retirement account, you're interested in learning more about converting your 401k or IRA into a retirement account that's backed by precious metals or just learning about you know investing in precious metals, you can check out Genesis Gold Group. I click the link in the description just below this video or calling 1-800-200-GOLD. I'll catch you next video.